Hello yogis, welcome to Zen with Jen. My name is Jennifer Coffey. In this video, we're going to do an easy nighttime yoga routine. It's called yin yoga. And yin yoga is all about holding stretches for longer periods of time than you might typically be used to. Usually when we stretch, it's happening before or after a workout, and it's just holding a couple of quick stretches, which is lovely. But yin yoga is about holding those poses, a minute, two minutes, or even more. And as such, a lot of people find it to be some of the most challenging yoga there is. When we ask the mind to quiet, when we ask the body to keep still, especially in today's world, we can find that internally we're fighting against that. When you feel that happen, acknowledge it, but see if you can't hold in that stretch. I think you'll find by the end of this routine, you'll be so ready for a long, peaceful night's sleep. And the best part of it is, we're not even gonna get up off of this mat, not even standing. We'll start in a seated position, and we're gonna go down from there. So we'll start with finding a seated position that works for you. Now, when we think about yoga and seated positions, a lot of people think about sitting at a pretzel position, right? It's not necessary. You can sit cross-legged on the floor. I often like to take a yoga block and use it as a prop to sit upon. Keeps me from pressing down too firmly on my feet. And I'll sit this way. You can sit on top of a meditation pillow or your own bed pillows. Some people will roll up a blanket. Um, so this is just basically what works for you to get you into a centered mindset because we're gonna be here for a little while. So I'll get back into a cross-legged position. You find the seat that works for you. Palms can be on your knees, face up if you like. We're gonna close our eyes and just begin to breathe in what is called a three-part breath. Three-part breath is a lot different than the breathing most of us do throughout the day because most of us are breathing from up here and usually in very shallow breaths, especially us ladies who are always trained to hold it in, right? Well, let's ease that. Start the breath in the belly, expand into the ribs, bringing it all the way up into the chest and shoulders, and then releasing from the top down. Let's try it together. Inhale, belly, ribs, shoulders. Exhale, release, shoulders, ribs, belly. Again, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And continue at your own pace. It shouldn't feel forced. It should be relaxed. But keep your mind on your breath as you breathe. Don't let it become something that's mindless. Let it be mindful. And as you're breathing, let's do what's called a body scan. And all we're doing is placing our awareness, our attention on different areas of our body and calling upon them to relax. So as we're breathing, inhale, focus on our root, our feet, our legs that are crossed underneath us. Can we Remind the ankles and the legs to just relax, to not tense up. As you continue to breathe, place your awareness on your knees. Are you holding strong with your hands onto your kneecaps or are your hands relaxed? Are your knees relaxed? The pelvis and our hips, we carry so much tension. Maybe even give it a little wiggle to see if you can't loosen it up a little bit. Breathing into our lower back to relax those muscles along our spine, moving up into the shoulders. Are they held up by your ears or can we relax them down? Making sure our palms, our forearms are resting on our knees. And now where I carry a lot of my tension in the jaw. See if we can't wiggle it back and forth, relax the tongue from the roof of the mouth. Can you even imagine the muscles around your eyes relaxing, your eyelids just laying where they are rather than pressed tightly? Your forehead and the crown of your head. Imagine all of the worries and the tension of the day relaxing up and out through the top of the crown of your head. Two more breaths.
Good. Now on the next inhale, let's reach our hands and arms up overhead. Take your right hand and grab your left wrist, not tightly, just holding it loosely. And then pull gently on your left arm, feeling that fantastic stretch all along the left side of your body. Not tilting or pitching your body all the way, keeping grounded just until you feel a little bit of a pull on that muscle. And let's breathe two times. Good. On the next inhale, arms up overhead, left hand comes to right wrist, up and over, staying grounded, feeling that stretch, and breathe. Did you already forget to bring that breath into the belly, the ribs, and the chest? Is it shallow, or can we deepen it again? Good. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bringing your arms down. Now, let's take the soles of our feet into what's called butterfly pose. It's kind of self-explanatory when you see it, right? Now, I want to make sure everyone knows that there are different levels that we can get into butterfly pose. This one is always a challenge for me because of my hip flexibility, and it may be for you as well. So if we need to bring our feet forward to have them touch together and a lot of space in between our feet and our pelvis, that is fine. The goal, of course, as always, is to give yourself just enough of a stretch that you feel it, but you're not straining. You don't feel pain, you don't feel tension. Just a little bit of that lovely pull and release. I like to place my hands on my feet. You don't need to pull up. We're just gonna put it there to kind of ground us. Inhale, and on the exhale, see if you can use your hands just to bring and guide your chest towards your feet and from here, we're gonna engage in a longer hold. So breathe with me. And each inhale, imagine bringing in life and energy and relaxation into wherever you're holding tension. And on the exhale, you might be surprised to find you can go a little deeper. We spend so much of our day, so much of our lives closed in, right? Seated at a desk, seated in a car, walking forward. There's movement but is there an openness to the movement? And yin yoga is about exploring the parts of our body that don't get to experience that openness. Don't judge yourself if you really want to get out of this pose right now. Especially with anything that asks openness of the hips, can definitely engage the mind. The mind is asking, why aren't we doing? Why aren't we moving? And the beautiful answer is, you don't have to. Two more breaths. Good. Let's release our hands from our feet. Bring our feet and legs in front of us, give them a little shake and wiggle, probably feel a really lovely looseness there in the hips. And now, if you're not there already, let's turn our body so that our feet are facing the end of our mat and we are level on our sits bones. I like to move some of the excess out of the way, if you know what I mean, to get those nice and solid onto the yoga mat. Back is straight, not rigid, just relaxed and straight. We're gonna do one inhale, bring our hands and arms up. And on the exhale, forward fold. Now, 
I'm going to share with you something I wish more yoga instructors had shared with me, and, and that's about yoga meeting you where you are. I know so many people who share with me that they don't think they can do yoga because they're not flexible. And it's, it's a cliche, but an understandable one. If your forward fold looks like this, that's a forward fold. And that's yoga. If it looks like this, you know where I'm going, that's yoga. And if it looks like this, that's yoga. And not a single one is better than any of the others. And it's wonderful to kind of aspire to maybe a little bit of a deeper stretch, right? It means our muscles are loosening up. But it doesn't mean that you achieved anything because yoga is never finished. It's a practice for a reason. So let's stay in that forward fold. We'll hang out here a while to get nice and comfortable and breathe. may have noticed when I began this video or any of the others that I address you as yogi. I remember the very first yoga class I took, the instructor addressed us as yogis. And I had this internal flash of a feeling that, well, that, that wasn't me. <laughs> she wasn't talking to me. I haven't been doing this for a while. I'm new to this. I'm, I'm not a yogi, but I guess all these other people are. And now that I have been doing this for a while, I realize we're all yogis. <laughs> if you're breathing, if you're moving, if you're taking the time to explore what your body can do and how open your mind can become, that's yoga. So congratulations if this is your first video. You got your yogi certificate. A few more breaths. Keep the knees relaxed, don't lock. Inhale, let's slowly rise up. Again, give those legs a little shake, your shoulders if you need it. And now, we'll face each other again, only this time, we're gonna bring our legs open to a V. And once again, whatever that V looks like for you, lowercase, uppercase, narrow, wide, is fine. Bring it to the point where, again, it feels a little more open than you usually sit, but you're not straining. It's not about getting into a split. We're gonna do a stretch on each side, right and left, and hold those poses as well. So from here, again, inhale, hands and arms up. Only now, we're gonna turn my right, your left, come down once again to our level of comfort. It's a little bit of a stretch. This one again, it's kind of a challenge for me. I've seen plenty of people who can come all the way down. This is me. If for you, it's here here, that's fine. Let's not just put any pressure on our knee though. We want to keep that nice and soft. Inhale and come on down. We're so accustomed to silence being awkward, right? If we're in a room with somebody right now, I've got some friends in this room with me right now, and if it's silent, our inner voice, our ego is scrambling. Well, what are you gonna say? What are we gonna think about? What do we have to do today? What about this? What about that? 
And it's natural, and everybody does it. For most of us, the only silence that we get is when we lay in bed at night. Let's start a new practice where silence isn't awkward, where it's lovely. We can get to know ourselves a little bit better. a few more breaths. Then you come a little deeper on that last exhale. Sometimes I'm so surprised. I go, oh, there it is. <laughs> There's that last inch I didn't think I could get. Good. Inhale, slowly rise up, come back to center. We have two sides, so we'll do the other now. Inhale, hands and arms up. Turn my left, your right. Down we go. Now here's the, uh, the crazy part. You may find that one side's really, really flexible and the other is stiff as a board, right? Don't judge. It means one side of your body needs that stretch a little bit more. We all work with the dominant side. It's not just our hands. And so you might find that dominant side a little bit stiffer than the other. So let's inhale, exhale, come down just till we feel a stretch. see that among this library of Zen with Jen videos, we also do some meditations. But I'd love to take this moment to share with you that this is a meditation right now too. And so is walking. And so is reading. And so is prayer. And so is, for me, spending a few moments watching my kitty cat sleep. <laughs> That's all meditation. If it brings you inside, if it calms you, if it maybe turns down the volume on that chatter, that's meditation. So congratulations, Yogi, you're a meditator too. A couple more breaths. slowly rise up, bring our legs back over to the end of our mat. Again, if you want to give those legs a wiggle, those hips are probably going, oh, hey now. <laughs> There's a little openness I didn't have before, right? And now we're going to do a couple of gentle twists before we close out our practice. So from here, let's ease ourselves down onto our back. Bring our knees up as though we're doing that um, cat and cow that we did earlier, right, but in reverse. Let's bring our hands over our knees, give ourselves a lovely little good night hug. Bring our left leg out straight. Keep holding on to that right knee though. And let's take the left hand, guide that right knee down, shift your hips a little bit if that helps you get a little bit further towards the floor. Trying, if we can, to keep those shoulders level to the ground. The goal isn't to turn all the way on our side. We want to keep those shoulders nice and level. Straighten out the right arm so that it's kind of like a T position up here at the top of your mat. Turn your head to the side towards that right hand. And now we're in a lovely spinal twist. No need to pull the right leg too high up. 
will guide it down wherever we need. Do not need to bring the knee all the way down. In fact, if you like, you can take that yoga block or pillow that you have and rest it underneath. And we'll hold this stretch for a moment. is another lovely one to do first thing in the morning. Since we've likely been laying in a single or a couple of positions throughout the night, giving yourself a lovely little twist in the morning. Kind of bring out some of the kinks that we may have accumulated overnight. Again, can we find that we can even deepen that stretch just a little bit on each exhale? And are we taking those exhales deeply or in a more shallow form in the chest? See if we can't deepen that a bit. A couple more breaths. Wonderful. Let's come back to center. Bring those knees up to our chest again. A little self-love, little hug. And now let's do the other side. Bring our right leg to straighten, holding on to that left knee and with our right hand guiding that over to our right side. Left arm comes out to a T again. This time I get to turn and look at you. Hi. And let's do that stretch on this side. Think about it from start to finish. This video is actually not that long. If it feels long, it's because you're using the minutes in a much different way than you're used to. But if you think about how often we spend 15, 20, 25 minutes scrolling through social media, reading the news, listening to music, it can all be good things but we may not think of it as the consumption of time. But just like we're mindful of how we consume food and drink, can we be a little more mindful on how we consume time? And can it work to our benefit a little bit better? Personally, I think this is a wonderful way to consume time. A couple of breaths. Let's come back to center. And just as a bonus, let's give ourselves one more hug, closing out the day, leaving behind anything that didn't serve us today, being grateful for everything that did, including our time together. We'll stretch out on the mat for a lovely brief rest to let our body take in all of those yummy stretches that we just did. Arms by your side, palms up if you'd like to receive some sweet dreams, palms down if you want to stay grounded, deep night's sleep. Feet resting to the side, a few breaths here, just a minute or so in silence, starting now.
Let's come back into awareness, wiggling our fingers and toes, fluttering our eyes open. We're certainly not going to jolt ourselves out of this because ideally this is right before the restful part of your day. So rather than asking you to sit up, I'll ask you to stay here as long as you like. If you did this in bed, good news, you don't have to move for the next several hours. But I hope you've enjoyed this practice. Come back to it anytime. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me. Namaste. You can check back every Monday for new Zen with Jen videos right here on QVC+.